Hey everyone. This time we looked at two side-scrolling games, and the reason I picked these two is because they're both surfer-themed. Uh, first one is Green Dog, the beach surfer dude on Sega Genesis, and the second one is TNC Surf Design 2, Thrilla Surfari. Uh, and every time I say Surfari, I'm, I'm sorry, I, I just... I cringe just a little bit. It's a play on the uh, Swahili word safari, which just means to travel. Or as you normally just call it safari. Whatever. Now that I've rambled on about that, I can move on to something else. So you learned something today. One Swahili word. Good job, everyone. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, what I liked about both of these games is you can easily pick them up and play them, just like any side scroller. Uh, Green Dog seemed to be a little bit more fun for me, but, you know, it, that's always subjective whenever you have a game like this. So, yeah, it's kind of a, kind of a strange thing. What uh, Thrilla Safari suffers from is that it's an LJN game, and the, for some reason, I don't know what it is. I know LJN didn't make the games. But they always seem to just have some weirdness to them that sort of makes them a little strange. It, usually they're easier to make fun of than anything else, just because of how weird they are. But anyway, it's both of the games are fun in their own right. I actually have more uh, nostalgia playing uh, Thrilla Safari because I played it when I was growing up. I had a friend who, for some odd reason, seemed to own all the LJN games, and Thrilla Safari was... It was one that he rented, he didn't own it. He owned the first TNC Surf design. Anyway, we're gonna check out Green Dog first, and then we'll move on to Thrilla Safari. <laughs> So this is Green Dog. It's kind of a weird game. Uh, it was originally the uh, sort of brainchild of an actual surfer who went by the name Green Dog. I don't know what his name is, sorry. I could look it up later if you guys really want me to. But anyway, Green Dog was really into like trying to market his brand and everything. And so he worked with TNC Surf Design. He worked with another surf company that I can't really remember right now. And he eventually got a marketing deal to create video games. It was supposed to be on the Super Nintendo, but it ended up coming out on the Sega Genesis. Either way, it's a fun game. You basically play as Green Dog, and you have this mystical amulet, as we saw in the intro, and you're trying to collect um, a bunch of relics in order to get the curse lifted. And what follows is just a weird, weird adventure that I can barely, barely describe to you. So each uh, level follows some like pretty specific things. You start off with like a basic side-scrolling thing, and then you go into a temple, which gives it more of like a Metroid Mania, sort of like moving around type thing. And then you go to a transition phase, where you have this weird little bastardized side-scrolling shooter, but... <laughs> Thank you. 
then the last level is where there's just like a huge difficulty spike, at least for me, but that's probably just because, um, well, I'm just going to be perfectly honest, I suck at these, where you're going on like this weird little racing adventure, and I, I just absolutely hate it, because you'll hit these, on the first one you'll hit these little springs which send you back, and in the second one you're just running into like uh, parking meters, and those keep throwing you back, and it just, it's incredibly frustrating to do. That all being said, it's still fun, but incredibly frustrating. <laughs> So Thriller Safari is the second one we're going to look at, and like I said earlier, this is a game I did play growing up, where Green Dog I never actually played growing up until I decided to do this weird little review and comparison. Uh, Thriller Safari, you play the role of Thriller Gorilla, who is an anthropomorphic gorilla who seems to have a regular human girlfriend, which I don't quite understand. It's a very strange world. If you look at the other TNC Surf design, I'm kind of upset that they didn't bring in a Cool Cat, which was the cat in the tuxedo, or Tuxedo Cat. I think it's Tuxedo Cat, actually. Either way, they brought all, a lot of the characters from that into this one. It, it works out really well, uh, but it's incredibly frustrating. <laughs> Mostly because it's like they tried to do Sonic but just totally screwed it up because you're racing through the levels and the rules keep changing on you which you know happens with most LJN games. In the first level which is the forest level if you hit any of the logs you die. And then if in the second part, it's the water level where you're on a surfboard, and you would think if you hit the rocks you would die, but no, those just take away a bar of health. And this is when you realize, oh my god, I actually do have a health meter. But during the first two, like the forest section, it doesn't matter that you have a health meter because you're just going to instantly die whenever you touch something. So in the second one, you're avoiding the rocks, and you realize, okay, well those don't kill me, and then you touch an electric eel and you immediately die. So yeah, those are the two games. Uh, honest, I had I had much more fun playing Green Dog for this, uh, mostly because it was less frustrating to play than TNS than uh, Thrill of Safari. It's just it seems like it's uh, just the better surfer game because, you know, they, they didn't uh, force you to ride your surfboard or, in this case, ride your skateboard and surfboard. They still threw a few of those elements in where you do get to hop on your, 
hop on your skateboard and also on your uh, rollerblades and in a green dog. But in Thrill of Safari, it was just like, why am I? Why is this just so incredibly annoying to do? I died so much more in Thrill of Safari than anything else. Anyway, guys, that was pretty much it. Um, I'm not sure what two games I'm gonna do. I might try to do something a little bit different and compare two role-playing games. I've got a few of them that I kind of want to look at. Uh, the original Final Fantasy, uh, the original Dragon Quest, uh, the original Fantasy Star, and also um, uh, Destiny of an Emperor. I'm not sure which two I'm going to compare, so this next uh, episode might take a little bit longer. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you all have a great day. Which kind of makes sense, but it's still really stupid, because it's like, okay, now the enemies instantly kill me, whereas in the forest level, if you touched an enemy, it just took away a bar of health. I mean, what, just, what the fuck, LJN? What, what are you trying to do to me? And I know you didn't make the game, but still, I don't know why all of your games seem to